Alta Voz, Sherwood Web TV, ancora un'intervista, abbiamo con noi un altro special guest tonight. Uh, welcome, uh, Mr. Shin. Hello. Hello. Yeah. How are you after your gig? Um, good, still alive. Still alive, still sounds alive, good. Yeah. <laughs> sounds good, yeah. It's like a fight and the mixing uh, in the room. Yeah, you, 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 yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I had a lot of fun so playing, yeah. So it was all good. Ah, that's good. I'm happy to hear that. So, I've just listened some mm. to your sound production mm. and your mixing uh, and um, I really appreciate uh, the mm. kind of music you play and Thank you make because it's a um, kind of techno that mm. I really love. We can mm. call it like an uh, obscure side of techno, mm. <laughs> very dark, uh, mm. very minimal sometimes, mm. but uh, with lots of uh, IDM influence, uh, experimental sounds. Uh, yeah. Uh, basically, because um, the way how I like write and produce music, it's like uh, you know, um, it's the way how uh, you know I, I got influence. You know, yeah. Uh, I basically just you know just you know just include everything that I have listened to into my production. So I mean, maybe it sounds fresh. I don't know, but um, just me. I'm just trying to you know just just being myself. Just whatever I feel that is right and um, I I don't really follow you know like you know the hype or the trend or whatever you know just, oh. just do whatever you know I feel that is that's right so um, so as you can tell like you know um, many of my tracks you know um, they kind of like a lot of uh, influences in it because I don't I mean like in general I don't listen to just one genre you know uh, yeah you know um during like if i'm not making music in a day i i don't listen to um like techno music i listen to from from jazz to obscure music to you know to sound design kind of stuff to gothic uh you know to um i don't know it's idm and even like indie rock or even even the 80s rock i listen to you know so every uh, day has its own good mood for yeah. listening different yeah. kind A different kind you know so it, it depends on where i am or where i supposed to go during the you know the journey between two places so uh, i think it is it's better for me to listen to you know because i draw inspiration from you know just not really from electronic music i just got i, I just get like you know um influences from like maybe acoustic music just yeah. to imply to you know to what i do normally i mean as in electronic music you know yeah no oh, that's very good yeah. you came from singapore yeah, and, yeah. and you have the residence uh, over there or you had no I, I i don't have a residency in 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 i mean you mean playing in there or yeah yeah uh no uh, i no. i don't really i mean i'm not a resident in 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 any club in singapore so uh um I, i don't know it's just maybe you know I, i i don't feel like you know just to work as you know uh, how is the, the musical scene in singapore because there's a lot of yeah. very famous uh, club mm. like zook for mm. example the mostly famous dj went over mm. there to to, yeah. to to spin and um, to have some gig. we we just um the people there i mean um they just listen to whatever is available you know and and the big boys from the big clubs they you know it's you know this they usually they'll bring like big boys to, to come you know to singapore to play and uh but we do have you know um a very promising underground you know um scene that is still growing you know ah, so that's very interesting uh, it's very interesting because we have like you know even dubstep um you know drum and bass um techno is still going on like in in some very small smaller clubs but it's still happening you see so i i believe maybe in five to ten years time you know we'll be right there whatever europe you know is doing right yeah. now so i mean it takes time uh because we, we don't have a very strong you know uh electronic culture in, in ah, singapore okay. you see so um but people i mean some people they they still do you know um very keen on like you know um you know those kind of sound they never heard before yeah ah okay and now how is to play in europe uh, or like in berlin um, uh, i mean I in i i think uh 
for is this there, I mean, year. Is there any difference to play like in Germany, for example, yeah. than Italy or France or or? Um, can uh, you find some different uh, yeah, there, there people, is di- yeah. the moods? Or there is a difference. I mean, um, in a, a play in, in every club, there there is a different mood. But uh, I try to, you know, just um, I don't know. I try to play whatever I can. Uh, but the thing is, um, you know, in every club, you have to, you know, play uh, a certain set. You know, it's just to, you know, to just fit in the mood. Yeah. So, uh, for you know, like maybe for like you know most you know most clubs in 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 Germany, uh, it depends on what kind of city. So I mean, I mean, I can't really, um, you know, I can't really say that you know in different club I try to play different, but I try to stick to what I you know I I normally play. Uh, but sometimes I do change a bit, you know. Uh, for the more f- friendlier club, of course, like I try to you know. Uh, try not to go too too dark, you know. Uh, oh, but still okay. stick to you know, still st- stick to my own kind of sound. Uh, because it's, I, is is it yeah. hard to, to to get your own sound uh, in front of uh, of the public? I mean, yeah. it's yeah. is there any difference uh, between playing in front of thousand, five thousand people, for example, or in a very small private party like a one hundred people? All I can tell you that it's like uh, if I play like in a smaller club that maybe there are only like hundred people, I try to go uh, a bit like you know um, um, uh, I don't know just out of the electronic music border. Just try to play something that is not four four, and then just try to play some you know interesting music that people haven't really heard it before I think it's, it's kind of interesting to, to plan you know between like danceable tracks and non danceable yeah. tracks you know That's uh, what I yeah mean. yeah so uh, but in you know in, in, in places like with uh, let's say festival you know so you have to really pump you know like pump the crowd so you have to play really heavy kind of stuff so people those thousands of people need to dance their ass off so I mean that's different, you know. Oh, well yeah. Do you prefer to play like a one-hour DJ set in a very big festival or much more hours um, in a small one? Personally, I, I, I like I like to you know I like to play uh, maybe two hours or more, maybe four hours because uh, those sets that you actually I can like you know just you know um, transit from you know one place to another place. Yeah. You know, uh, for one hour is is kind of like quick, you know. It's really fast, so you have to, you know, you have to pump it up in the beginning, and then, and then you have to end up with something else. is quite similar to I don't I don't know to some other DJs, but the way how I do it is like that. You see, yeah. Okay. Someone uh, said that, that um, the techno you play yeah. is a very new, fresh techno, because uh, maybe it's something different than the the other DJ who play that the kind of genre, the kind of music, you know. Mm. Um, it's much more darkly, but much more. I, I mean, I, I personally mm. prefer the kind of, of techno you play because it's my kind of techno, okay, you cool, know. Cool. Yes, really, really. Because cool. it's much more mental state, you know, okay. much more <laughs> emotional. You yeah. can really have a, a trip with the mind, mm. and I feel better the kind of music. Um, what is the future of techno in the world? I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't really. You know, I, I don't try to foresee things what's going to happen in the future. I think um, because, m- you know, a lot of people call, oh, OK, you know, like, my, you know, my music is, you know, like futuristic and, and whatever. But the thing is, um, I don't thought of it. You know, I don't th- you know, I don't really you know think that, you know, my music is, uh, you know, just beyond time or something because I just try to, uh, you know, to to do something different, you know. I, I'm not trying to compete, but um, just you know, because I like to destroy things, you know. I, even even ah. you know, even like the gadgets or even clothes or whatever, you know, that I bought. I like to you know just to, you know, just to author a bit, just to have my own style. You see? Yeah. So um, I think just being me, you see, um, because I see things. I don't know. Just like I like to create something new that I can call my own. Um, I mean, it's not really um, how to say that uh, um, accessible to many people, but uh, but I'm 
I'm I'm quite happy because I'm just trying to be myself. Yeah, yourself. Yeah, yeah. and you're 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 making music for yourself. Yeah. Uh, because you have something to say. I, yeah, to the exactly. People. And then people, I mean, like you know, if some people really like it, I mean, uh, I, I'm really you know appreciate it because you know people you know you know tend to understand like what you do you know so um yeah it's great you know like you know whatever you do and people say oh this is this is nice and then you know this is something new but, but um for me it's not something new it's like you know uh, something um just just recreating you know um uh, taking the old things try to bring in like into i think into you know uh, a fresher kind of uh uh element into it so um i don't know i i, I don't really call that new things but uh okay. you know yeah no but it's something that's that recreating came out from you yourself. Know, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah yeah that's creating yeah. that's creating yeah. oh sure yeah. um what do you think about vinyl um, is it a limit today for an artist or something that mm. is, is always good uh i mean I not not mm. only for for playing mm. uh in a gig mm. but just for i mean when you make a, an album for example usually mm. you you put out on cds mm. or digital like mp3 waves yeah. Uh, yeah. and many artists um seems coming back from uh, mm. producing vinyls mm. sometimes it's in a very limited version i don't like this kind of idea mm. because music is music and mm. should be for everybody you know mm. so um, i don't like to hurry up to pre-order a record mm. because i like vinyl mm. but so uh, that support is still valid or not it's still valid actually it's still valid and people still buy vinyls these days so actually it's growing stronger than before uh, because due to you know limited you know copies you know people try to get you know uh maybe one or two uh, you know or maybe more you know so just try to have one copy uh to keep you know for myself i mean i'm a vinyl collector i mean i still wow. play vinyls you know um the thing is i know it's an ex excuse to you know just not to bring vinyls to travel um oh, but do you think really that uh yeah people you know, people thought it's an excuse but the thing is you know that uh, i mean between vinyls and digital i mean it's just two different platforms that you can um recreating or you can be creative on stage you know vinyls you can be uh pretty much very creative just playing to two turntables but on v on digital you can be you know um creative in in it in its own way you yeah, know playing I four know. tracks and um uh, playing samples lay on top it's just different way of playing i think um I don't think people do really, you know, uh I mean, do really care about like, you know, when they are on the dance floor, they just want the output, you know. Yeah. Uh what concern is actually the way how the performer will play on stage, you know, how he or she is going to deliver, you know. Uh it's just among us, you know, like people yeah. just prefer to to play vinyls, people people i mean some dj's they they prefer to play uh, digital i mean it's just very um individuality you know so yeah. uh and there's I no right there's no wrong in it so uh but uh, you know the most hilarious part is like people are still arguing about like what is good but for me i think it's both platforms are good enough yeah i mean just the way that if you like to play vinyls then just go ahead nobody will stop you you know if you want to play digital just go ahead because anyway people just go to, to the club and they just want to listen to good music you know no matter what platform that you are you know you're going to deliver you know yeah yeah i definitely yeah. agree with yeah. you about your production, mm. the Realm EP yeah. was come out in 2012. Okay. Um, 12. Uh, yeah. Any new any new records coming soon? Uh, a few uh, remixes. Can we say it? Uh, yeah, yeah. Some some I can I can mention some. Um, I have one for for CLR that I did a remix for Moto uh, with uh, Gary Newman on on the vocals. Uh, that will be coming out, I think this month yeah maybe this month yeah in october uh another one is i did a remix for oscar molero uh i don't know when it's going to come out but maybe, maybe this year or maybe early next year i'm not sure yet um um hopefully there will be like some 
um, some EPs in in the early 2013. But uh, any new album 2013? Uh, maybe 14. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so maybe 14. Yeah, maybe 14. Yeah. <laughs> if you are still if, alive. If, if, if you are still alive, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because at the, the end of the, the year world, we yeah. should. Yeah. Uh, you know, crash in the war. How does the we same should? Do you believe that? <laughs> I, don't I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Okay, so um, thank you very much for being here thank you. and for your kicks and altavoz. Thank you. Um, can you say something to um, about altavoz to our listeners? Uh, buy original music. Okay, <laughs> so Shin, thank you so much thank you. for thank being here. Thank, thank you, thank you a thank lot. Thanks for having me.